What's the deal YouTube? It's your boy NextGen720 and I am back with another video. If you haven't checked out my last video, the link can be down below in the description. Very, very interesting video. Um, big announcement yesterday. Two, you know, well-known scientists came out and said that they, you know, have mathematical proof, mathematical proof, I'm sorry, that there is a 10th planet within our solar system. Um... And, you know, they came out yesterday, did a mathematical, you know, but basically, you know, just going by what we know about the gravitational pull, they've been saying, you know, since we found Pluto, that Pluto is not big enough, you know, not a big enough mass of body to keep Neptune and Uranus, you know, in line, you know what I mean? Small, I think Pluto is smaller than our moon. And so there had to be a, a, a body beyond Pluto way out on elliptical orbit, you know what I mean? Um, this is this body. Well, they according to this body, you know, this body may come within our solar system every 15, ten to between ten to fifteen thousand years. But there's some that Sumerians talked about in doing, you know, on Sumerian cells. I'm sorry, on the Sumerian tales of creation. Um, I talked about that yesterday in the video. You guys can check it out. The video went over a few, few of you guys heads. Just um, I left a link in the video that I did yesterday. It's called Everything That We've Been Taught. Or something like that. It's been wrong by Lord Pi. Watch the video and then you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, a lot of people was in there. You know, that's one thing I understand about Christians or whatever. They find the need to defend or make things or to explain things away. You can't explain that away. Like the Old Testament takes their stories from the Sumerian tales of creation. They was that's the oldest living civilization on this planet. The first. It was like 4500 BC before Jesus Christ, before the Hebrews. You understand what I'm saying? And it's crazy, like I said, like I said in the video, it's crazy that, and don't get me wrong, like I'm, I was brought up a Christian, you know, but some things like this don't make sense. Even I had questions when I was younger because that, you know, the Old Testament, which has nothing to do with Christianity, Christianity whatsoever, you know, and it's funny that the Christians, I, you know, accept that, which has nothing to do with Christianity. You know, Jewish people look like look at Christians like they're stupid. You know, but you know, but it is what it is. Like you know, I'm I'm like I'm I'm gonna get into my video, but so I can go on for days and hours talking about that, man. But I, I do have the UFO video coming uh, next month. It's gonna be epic. I'm telling you some trippy shit. Anyway, on to today's video. Um, but talking about that in two minutes, and get to what my video is about. Jet Force, Gemini, Microsoft um, filed for a trademark at the patent office. So Phil Spencer, if you remember a few months ago, uh, said that the Xbox One will be receiving or getting some unannounced exclusives that are going to come out in 2016. So this is like the fourth patent that they filled for this this year, this year alone. Phantom Dust, uh, Fragments, Jet Force, Gemini. And it's another game. It's the four already. Jesus. Like I said, Microsoft, they own Rare. Rare does have a, a a big back catalog of games. You know, of IPs that they created throughout the, over the years. Um, and so, like, this this was... I had this for my Nintendo 64 back in the day. It was like a cult classic. You know, uh, you know this is what Microsoft needs. Like we talked about this in the podcast last week. This is what they need on their platform. You know, diversity. You know what I mean? Different games. Besides shooters and racers, they need different little games like this, and this is a step in the right direction. So I'm hoping to see this game here at E3 with some next-generation graphics that'll be so ill. Maybe to give us this and Battletoads, forget about it. I'll be ecstatic. Um, also, too, uh, the Hitman will be using DirectX 12. Square Enix is all on board, you know, with the DirectX 12. Like I said, it saves developers time, money, resources, you know, they're able to push their games, you know, push the envelope. So the Hitman will be using DirectX 12. Also, too, uh, there's a forum post. I will leave the link from Beyond 3D. It looks like the Xbox One version of the division will be in 1080p. Um, this is according to this forum post here. The pixel counters. If you didn't know, Microsoft has the marketing deal for the division, and I, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be 
post patch when you know when they you know they're gonna patch it after the game comes out. Uh, but listen, I have a list of games here. I'm gonna leave the link down to Beyond 3D. It's like a Sony. It deals with Blu-rays and all that stuff. They into 1080p. They they pixel counters, bean counters. You know what I mean? Um, they said the ver that version did have some screen. I mean that the, the picture did have some screen tearing, and but it was uh, it was native 1080p. If you know, it is what it is. But the division will be using DirectX 12 also. Now I'm gonna go over. I have a list of games that are coming out that will be using DirectX 12 or games that are out now that is going to be patched with DirectX 12. Remember, I told you this shit before. Remember, um, and you guys again said I was making shit up when the the Witcher and you know the creators of Batman was like, you know, that their games can't be patched with DirectX 12. And I told you guys they can go back and, you know, patch some of these games that may have been sub 1080p can be patched with DirectX 12 and probably receive a, 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 a bump, a boost in resolution. But you guys said I was making this shit up. But check it out. I have a list of games here that's going to be running DirectX 12. Uh, some are out now. And some are going to be patched with DirectX 12. You know? uh, we got the Ark Survival Evolve. Um, DirectX 12 will be available later in a patch. Um, Arma 3, DirectX 12 patch releasing. Um, uh, Ashes of Singularity, game is currently available on Steam, really early access program. Caffeine, Descent Underground. Uh, DirectX 12 is enabled, um, via the, the, the option menu, they said. Uh, a game called Squad. Just Cause 3, DirectX 12 patch is going to be presented at the 2016 GDC. We don't know, Mike, that's the Microsoft have this thing, they have this big, no, not, not just Microsoft, the industry, period. But they're going to be talking about the benefits of DirectX 12 and going to have a showcase there. So it looks like they're going to patch Just Cause 3, uh, which I believe is 900p on the Xbox One. I want to see what the resolution is going to turn out to be and the, the ending frame rate. So DirectX 12 is going to be patched. I'm sorry, DX 12 is going to be patched and presented at 2016 GDC. Uh, and that's interesting. We got to keep. We got to. We got to look out for that one. It's going to be interesting. What's going to be the the final resolution and frame rate of this game? Um, DayZ is going to be using DirectX 12. Deuces X Mankind divided. We already know about that. Uh, Far Cry Primal, didn't know about that, another Ubisoft game. Uh, Gears of War Ultimate, I didn't know about that either. Hitman, I just told you about the Hitman. Sea of Thieves, I didn't know about that, just gonna be using DirectX 12. Uh, Tom Clancy, The Division, I finished talking to you guys about The Division, um, is gonna be using DirectX 12. WNC Infantry. Um, there's also another game that's going to be using DirectX 12, and there's a lot more games that have yet to be announced, but look for a lot of games that may have came out on the Xbox One, um, because just being honest, it's not even so much the Xbox One, it's a Windows 10 machine, you know what I mean, a, Dir a DirectX 12 machine, period, I've been saying that since the turn of time, you know, uh, so they can patch it on PC, x86 the same goddamn code what people don't understand is that for you what they're just going to patch it on pc windows 10 uses the same code whether it's on pc or the xbox one it's the same code so the developers can patch it on a pc they can patch it on the console also you understand what i'm saying but you know like it's microsoft you got to give them they, they when it comes to software they they they'll always be leap years ahead of Sony. This is what they do. They are a software company. Software is what pushes the hardware. Sony is a hardware company. They make things. The fact that they can have the powerful console and have the power supply inside the box without having any heating issues. This is Sony's strong point. You know what I mean? Both Microsoft and Sony have their weaknesses and their strengths. Imagine they would make a console together. That would be dope. But, you know, long as Sony will try to end me to death, man. Like, Jesus Christ. But anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720. Um, I'm, I'm very interested in see what's going to happen at this 2016 GDC. 
um, and what Microsoft has to show. And finally, we're going to see to see the put up or shut up. What Direct X twelve is going to you know how is it going to benefit the Xbox One? You know, if the division is going to be ten eighty p. I don't know because they I don't Ubisoft never came out and said anything. You know, and you know. I don't know if people were going by the beta. It was 900p or the, 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 the alpha, whatever you call the beta, the alpha. I don't know if they were going by that. Or, you know what I mean? But they never came out and said what the resolution was going to be of this game. You know what I mean? But this is your boy, Next Gen 720. Like I said before, check out my yesterday yesterday's video. Very interesting video. Um, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Uh, got like, like damn, they had 600 comments on that video, and I'm, you know, it's crazy. It's, I've normally I drop a video and I answer a few comments because it gets a little bit. I've been in that comment section. A lot of you guys were knew what I was talking about. That shocked the hell out of me. Like you know, I always say I don't look at many gaming videos on YouTube. I'm always doing my conspiracy stuff or like ain't that. I mean, I really like I just like I look at a lot of UFO sh shit on YouTube and documentaries and reading all types of books, you know, dealing with the paranormal, like, I've been doing that shit for years, you know, ever since we had this encounter back in, like, when I was 12 years old, I'm going to tell you guys the story in, in depth, and in the meanwhile, I'm working on my grandmother, so I'm going to try to, and I don't want to just start talking about it in tape, or that's some weird, that's some weirdo shit, I wouldn't do that, but I would like her to come up here, you know, if she wants to, and tell, you know, what happened with her, and leading up to what happened with us, and you know, trippy as hell. Like I like some shit you can't even make up. Like you know, and just know that this uh, my day was my life was forever changed back in 1989, I believe it was 89 or so. My life was changed, and I've been the same since. But anyway, this is your boy Next Gen 720. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, just cause, what do you, you know, think about just cause being patched with Direct X 12? How do you feel about that? You know, uh, how do you feel about the division maybe running in native 1080p if you care, or if you're one of the ones that care about resolution? The game can be 900p for me. I don't care. It's not a big deal for me. It's, it's not. Uh, but I'm out of here, man. Leave me a comment section below. Leave me a comment. Leave me a comment down below in the, in the comment section. Bang, bang.